hello, welcome to Outdoor Cooking. Uh, today we are going to be making hobo meals. I miss Helena. So here we have our assorted ingredients, ingredients and things. So we've got some butter, some baby carrots, our um, ground beef slash hamburger patty. We got some oil over here, a potato, a paring knife, salt and pepper. You can use like whatever seasonings you want. Um, and we've got some aluminum foil. Normally you would use some heavy duty aluminum foil, but we don't have, we only have like the thin stuff. So we can double wrap it or triple wrap it if we want. Uh, you can use some metal tongs to move your uh, stuff around on the fire. <laughs> Let's get started. I like that. So first things first, you're going to want to get your log cabin fire started. Um, you want to specifically have it as a log cabin fire. And then you also want to, if you have like a table or something outside, you can keep an eye on the fire while you start prepping your ingredients. So we're going to start by cutting the potato. Just using a little paring knife, be very careful. Just cutting it thin slices. All right. Make sure you watch your fingers. Might need some adult supervision for this. don't have onions today but if you do you can peel them and then uh, either cut them into thin slices or you can cut them into like little cubes and add them to your home. At this point you can add your other vegetables so like we have some carrots over here and I guess we're going to chop those up and add them to the home. So now we're going to add our carrots. We're going to cut them up about the same so they're about the same size as the potatoes so that everything cooks easily. Now we are going to uh, prepare our aluminum foil. Just get about 18 inch piece and take some cooking spray. We just got some oil right now and just spray it down just so this is so nothing sticks to the oil while we're cooking it on the fire. So we've got our ground beef. I'm gonna just break it up a little bit so it cooks faster. Like so place it into the center of your aluminum foil. Now we're going to add our vegetables to the foil. So that everything gets sealed inside and doesn't fall out while it's cooking. So you're going to grab your two sides and bring them together. In fact, in your cooking book, there's a link to an online website that has like a whole video on how to fold a hobo meal. And you fold it over like so, so it's nice and sealed on the top. And then you take your edges and curl them in 
And you can, like I've sometimes made like a little handle, especially if you're gonna put a bunch in the fire at once, if you wanna kind of make each one a slightly different shape so you know whose is whose. Because with my family, uh, some of us like onion, some of us don't like onion. And so we kind of make each packet meal unique to the person who's gonna eat it. So if you make it a unique shape so that you know who, which one is yours, that's always good. You know how many times I've gotten a hobo meal that wasn't mine? That's not fun. No. And then it is sealed nice and well. Lovely. Now, since we're using not heavy duty foil, I think we need at least Double one wrap. or two more wraps. poke a hole in the foil, that's okay. Just put another layer of foil on the outside again. Okay, so now our hobo meals are ready to be put on the fire. So let's go. Okay, so today we're going to be using this grill rack here to cook our hobo meals. Um, you don't have to do this, you can put them right like by the coals if you want to, but we're just doing this today. So we're just going to place them right on top. Be careful not to burn yourself. And there you go. Stand the flame just a little bit. Get the heat going. There you go. So now that the hobo meals are on the fire, they'll have to cook for 25 to 30 minutes or just until the meat and everything is cooked on the inside. On the grill, sometimes they don't take as long. So okay. I'm thinking when we did them as a family, um, I think we let them on like five or 10 minutes and then flipped them. Okay. And then another five or 10 minutes and then checked them. So it's been about 10 minutes now. We're just going to pull our hobo meals off the fire and check them out, see if they're cooked on the inside. They're gonna be quite hot, so don't touch them with your bare hands. You'll burn yourself. Just gonna try to wheel my way in here and see if they are cooked all the way through. Thank you for joining us. I'm Miss Helena, and these are our home meals. Hope you enjoy.